Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking Chevy Cruze and we've got a couple things going on. AC off due to high engine temp and our engine temperature needle is completely dead or at zero or cold. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, YouTubers outside and we are in front of our 2012 Chevy Cruze and let's dive into the engine. Come to the right side if you're standing in front of it and I want to pay attention to this hose. We are going to remove it here shortly to give you a better view of the connection point that feeds into the sensor that connects to your water outlet valve because we want to check the wiring. However, before that, come up top and take a look at this connection point. What I want you to do is carefully push down on that tab as you can see and shift it rearward and off and inspect this connection point and verify that nothing is in here. And what happens over time is it builds up with grime and kind of like an oil-based residue. And that could be caused by an oil leak somewhere in your engine. And somehow it's making its way up to this connection point and getting past this little rubber seal. In addition, just to the side of it is your return line that feeds out of the top portion of the water outlet valve and makes its way all the way to your reservoir tank. And over the years, Chevy Cruze owners are having to replace this fitting. It is a very brittle fitting. And when it does start to leak, it leaks a lot of coolant out of it as well as steam. And being so close to this connection point, it can cause possible failure of this connection point. So again, pop this off, inspect it, make sure it's clean and clear. Look inside here, make sure there is no oil buildup. If there is, just do your best to clean as much of that as you can, reconnect it and push it in until it clicks. Just like that. From here, I'll grab a flathead screwdriver and loosen that clamp. All right, YouTubers, before I even loosened up that flathead screw, I came back up to the connection point that we just secured and then disconnected it because as you pull this hose off its connection point here, you're going to put stress on this connection point if you do not disconnect that. So again, disconnect this connection point even though we just reconnected it. Shift this hose aside and this part right here actually clips in place in that little slot on the top portion of the water outlet valve. Unfortunately, it is damaged and not able to secure itself. However, this goes in that little slot there. And then directly under that is your sensor that feeds inside your water outlet valve and sends the signal through that electrical connection point and wiring up to your computer. However, in the event that that sensor fails, it will not provide the proper temperature readings for your system and you will end up getting no temperature reading whatsoever on your inside instrument cluster, which is not cool. So now that we know where the sensor is, what I wanna talk about is the connection point itself and the electrical wiring feeding off of that. And what a lot of Chevy Cruze owners are running into is thinking the sensor has failed they go and replace the sensor and start the engine and run into the exact same problems as they were experiencing before replacing the sensor and come to find out over weeks of annoying heartache and chasing the problem it reverted back to the connection point was damaged so do the exact same thing as we did with this connection point carefully remove it from the sensor check the inside of the connection point make sure that there is no moisture no corrosion no oil buildup or any grime whatsoever because ultimately that will destroy the electrical connection point and fault the sensor out even though it's perfectly fine and operating and inspect all the wiring the wiring feeds up to this portion here and goes inside this and feeds all the way through here and down through here and then makes its way to the fuse box and battery however in our case the wiring looks fine and we replaced this sensor less than a year ago. So in my opinion, I do not think that sensor has failed yet. I think it's just a buildup of grime or corrosion inside the electrical connection point. We are going to clean it and see if that helps. However, if you do that and you're still not getting a reading inside on your instrument cluster, we have a step-by-step -step video that is going to walk you through how to replace that sensor. We also have a video on how to replace this entire water outlet valve. So definitely check out the video scrolling above. It may be very helpful to you and hopefully will solve your issue. So we are going to remove that connection point, clean it, resecure it, resecure this hose, tighten the clamp, resecure this connection point, go for a test drive and see if that fixes it. All right, YouTubers, here is the connection point that feeds into your sensor. And to remove it, you will see this tab on the back or upper side, compress it or apply pressure. And as you apply pressure, that little locking tab raises, and then you can use your other hand to shift it up and off. And there was a little bit of grime in here, so we did our best to clean as much as we could. From here, we're going to reconnect it. And as you connect it, make sure you listen for the clicking sound. And that clicking sound is your verification that it is on and secured. All right, YouTubers, back with the test drive. Everything went well. The air conditioner turned on and it was cold. Take a look at that left gauge. That is your temperature gauge, and it should never, ever get above that halfway point. In most cases, that needle in all cars will stay stationary at that position, just slightly below the halfway point. 
However, in the event that your needle is all the way up at the upper far left corner above the C, meaning cold, you definitely have a problem, and chances are you have a faulty sensor. And I say that because the sensor inside the water outlet valve as well as the sensor in the radiator work together to send the temperature signals to the onboard computer, which then sends the signal to this needle, ultimately providing the temperature of your engine. So hopefully this helps YouTubers. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel definitely ring your youtube bell that would be very helpful to us and very awesome we would really appreciate it and this may help you 99,461 miles on the odometer so in the event that you are in that same ballpark odometer wise and you are having this issue you are not the only one again we hope this helps